The realm of AI and agents continues to rapidly evolve, and one of those agent experiences that is fairly new to the user experience with Microsoft 365 Copilot is the Facilitator Agent. The Facilitator Agent has been out for some time, but it still may be fairly new to you, so let's have a review of what the Facilitator Agent is and how you can integrate it within your work productivity experience today. My name is Nick Harris, and I'm a senior Copilot Cloud Solution Architect with Microsoft. Welcome to the Microsoft 365 Copilot Connection, where we provide you the latest updates, features, tips, and tricks on how to leverage Microsoft 365 Copilot within your work enterprise experience. So first off, what is the Facilitator Agent? The Facilitator Agent, you can imagine, is just like another person being added into your Microsoft Teams meeting experience. And this person sits in the background, and they're listening to the meeting, and they're taking notes actively, and they can actively participate within the meeting conversation via the meeting chat. Users within this meeting can directly at mention the facilitator agent and have it directly respond in the meeting chat for them, or evaluate all of the variety of notes that are aggregated as your conversations are happening. All of those notes inside of your meeting are directly aggregated inside of a notes-taking page. This is within Microsoft Loop, the notes-taking service that we directly provide integrated with Teams meetings. And this then means that you can consolidate and coordinate all of your meeting notes in one central Loop workspace location. So gone are the days that we have to directly take all of our meeting notes or even explicitly have Copilot take meeting notes for us by prompting we can have the facilitator agent do all of this work for us while we sit back and have a conversation. So how do I add the facilitator agent into my Teams meeting experience? Well, there's a few ways that you can do this. In the current experience, you can see that I have an open Outlook event. And in this event, I have directly enabled the Teams meeting option. After this meeting has been saved, I've now navigated back into the meeting experience. And all of the Teams meeting features are now integrated with this event. You'll notice next to the Teams meeting toggle, Facilitator is off for this meeting. All I have to directly do is click on the Turn On feature. Another option available to me as well is directly navigating into the meeting options. You can see in the event body, there is a link for organizers to control options that are directly available for their meetings. If I click into this meeting options area and navigate into the Copilot and other AI section, you'll notice I can turn on Facilitator. So I have the ability to toggle on here as well. Now that's the Outlook options. What about Microsoft Teams? Many people today do directly coordinate their meetings through the Teams service itself. Within the calendar area of Microsoft Teams, I can directly create an event and add a Teams meeting. When I integrate this Teams meeting, I can then also control the options for Facilitator. You see the Facilitator option as well has now been enabled, and I can turn this on so I have Facilitator automatically available when this meeting starts. So let's hop into this operations review meeting, and I'm going to pre-record this meeting. I'm going to have the Facilitator agent listen in, and we're going to see the type of functionality that it aggregates as I actively participate. Now for the meeting that I'm actively in, I've opened the people section and you'll notice in the participants list, it's just myself. Now this might be a meeting where you have yet to turn on the facilitator functionality. Maybe you just forgot to toggle it on. So during the live active meeting as well, you can enable this functionality to be available. In order to do this, navigate into the More section here at the very top and turn on Facilitator. Once you turn on Facilitator, you can select the language of choice and then you can directly add the Facilitator agent experience in. So now if I navigate back into the People section, you'll now see Facilitator is another meeting participant. Facilitator will automatically process my audio during the meeting, and it will actively take notes for me and aggregate all of those notes into this notes-taking section, which is a Loop Workspace page. Now, just general note, it won't take notes every single time you speak. Uh, from what I've seen so far, it takes notes around every five minutes or so. 
So let's pre-record a meeting. We're going to speed some things up really quick and uh, see the type of notes that it aggregates. Now I finished pre-recording my meeting and it's still actively listening in to what I'm talking to now. I played two roles, Taylor and Jordan, talking about an operations review meeting. And you can see through that timeline, it's aggregating meeting notes automatically into the notes taking page. And my hope is here soon we'll actually see some additional notes populating. But we can review through these notes. Anyone that is a meeting participant and within my organization can review the data that the facilitator agent is coordinating. So I can navigate through any particular meeting notes, sections of information, any follow-up tasks that are identified. I can add assignees. I can add due dates. I can work in these meeting notes while the facilitator agent is actively updating the conversation. So other people could actively be talking now within my meeting and I could be working in here, such as we see a line on a single metric dashboard to ensure consistent reporting. Well, I can add an assigned D from my direct people list inside of here. I could add a direct due date in here as well. We'll target the 19th for this. All of this information is actively tracked and made available to your meeting participants. You'll also notice in the meeting chat the facilitator agent is actively chatting with us proactively, and I can see some of the information that it's noting. Also, I can at mention the facilitator agent, and this is where the facilitator agent differs from a normal Copilot integrated experience in Teams meetings. If I prompt Copilot, the output from Copilot is only available to me. So if I want a private conversation session, I'll go directly to the Copilot icon in my meeting options at the top. Otherwise, if I want to output information for everybody to see, I'll at mention the facilitator agent in my meeting chat. Oh, and look, now we're halfway through the conversation. It says it's stage focus. Fantastic. We'll say something like at facilitator. What action items are identified in this meeting? And now you see the facilitator is actively responding, just like another meeting participant. Now, for example, you might have meetings where it's people within your organization and people that are external from your organization. Those external or guest participants would also be able to see the output from the facilitator agent in the meeting chat. However, they would not be able to see the active meeting notes that are taking place. So if there are outputs that need or outcomes that need to be posted to those meeting participants that are external to you, at mention the facilitator agent in the meeting chat and they can actively review the data from there. And now we see there are action items directly identified from this specific meeting. Now, general note, I have been asked questions in the past. Does the facilitator agent require transcription at a minimum or recording of the meeting? And the answer is no. The facilitator agent can actively listen into the meeting while it's going on. However, however, also consider what do you need from those meeting notes? Are you going to need access to those meeting notes at a later date? If so, I would highly recommend that you at least at a minimum transcribe your meeting. Because what that means is then you can always go back to the meeting data, whether that be via the notes that facilitator has actively taken or by referencing the meeting with Copilot functionality, whether that be through Copilot chat or through the integrations with Copilot in your meeting recap. Now, I love this because I'm actively generating materials with my customers all the time. As an example to all of you, I have customers where I'm scoping out agendas for workshops, and I want the facilitator agent to aggregate all of that rich data that the customer has talked to me about into an agenda output that I can directly provide them back. In the legacy days of work, I'd you know in the meeting and I'd go about and I'd aggregate all of the agenda information myself and follow up in an email. Now instead I can do this real time. I can say, hey, at facilitator agent, 
provide a meeting agenda for the scope topics that we just discussed for a one hour session. And it can give me that agenda live and in real time so I can review that information with my customers. Now going back into the meeting notes as I've been actively talking, you'll also see the meeting notes again have been updated. So we have the initial due date that I've indicated for my action item, but now we have many more action items that the AI has added. And again, I can add more to this if I so choose. So it still is constantly listening and constantly updating notes as you insightfully converse with your meeting participants and you don't have to directly take those notes yourself. Now, what happens to these notes after your meeting has finished? I mentioned earlier, they're added to a loop page. So I'm going to navigate into the loop service. Now, inside of the loop service, you have a section dedicated to your meeting notes. So I can go into my operations review meeting, open up that page and review all of this rich data that's been actively updated for me. And it appears in this view, it's taken all of my meeting action items and follow up tasks, and it's aligned them into a table. Pretty cool. I can tag these, I can add assignees that would send notifications out to those assignees for the work tasks that have been assigned to them. There's many rich ways that you can leverage this to save time in aggregation of meeting data. Now, finally, something else that I really enjoy doing when structuring my notes, especially if it's for common or recurring meetings, I've generated a loop workspace and I've called this operations review. So I'm going to centralize all notes for this recurring meeting series in this operations review workspace. You can imagine this as like a OneNote notebook if you've taken meeting notes before. And now when I navigate into any of those meeting notes pages, I have this icon to add to workspace. So all I need to do is click on that icon, click on the operations review workspace, and it automatically adds that meeting notes page into this dedicated workspace. So every single time I have a meeting, I can take the automated meeting notes with any improvements or additions or edits that I've made or my team has made, and I can centralize those in a workspace that everybody has access to so they can easily go back to any of my previous meetings. So the facilitator agent is a fantastic experience for all of you to use. I highly recommend that you enable it within all of your Microsoft Teams meeting experiences that are directly available. General note, the facilitator agent will not be available in every single meeting type. Instant meetings or direct calls, it's not really available for today, but your direct schedule meetings, it is. If you have any questions or comments in relation to this content, please feel free to ask in the comment section below. If you're not subscribed, but you found this content helpful, Feel free to subscribe, join the community, ask any questions that you may have. I'm always willing to support and add any new content that you find interesting. Thank you all so much for your time as always. It's great to see you all again. Have a good one, everybody.